Hello cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone and today I'm doing this zodiac makeup! In today's transformation makeup I'm planning to change some things a little bit. So instead of going with a lip liner or an eye pencil I'm gonna go straight with aqua colors. This specific one is from Snazaroo, the black. So I'm planning to put some water, then take this tiny brush and design my whole idea with aqua color straightforward. I hope that this will help me. I don't know if it is actually a good idea. This is an experiment. It's the first time that I'm using it. It's the first time that I'm trying something like that. So I have no idea what to expect. In general, I prefer using pencils because they help me a little bit more with drawing but maybe this will help me with clearing some mistakes that I might possibly do. And the idea for today is to create something like a space themed area here and inside there I would like to draw the Gemini constellation. If you don't know, Gemini is my zodiac sign and no, I don't believe in zodiacs. But I find it very cool as a theme and I want to experiment a little bit with it. So I find it a good idea since I have the nails. Have you seen my nails? They're matching so good the whole thing. So yeah, and then I'm planning to go here and create something like a tattoo design of my zodiac. Something that I would never, never, ever do in real life, in a permanent way at least. Yeah, and I'm planning to have fun because this is transformation makeup to me. I'm going with things that I would definitely not do as a tattoo or something permanent and just play and have fun. So I hope that you like it. Don't forget to comment down below. Do you believe in zodiacs? And yeah, let's, let's do it. Yes, as you can see, I have changed my mind a little bit. And instead of finishing the whole thing with the black aqua color, I used white aqua color. This specific one is from Eulenspiegel. It's in this shade Vice. And then I did some shadows. How? With two palettes. First of all, give me a second. Yep, here we are. I used War Paint palette, this one right here. From this palette, I took the black, the authentic. So I did the line, which is very, very close to white and then with this mini palette from we makeup that i chose the shades by myself i took the matte gray and i faded out the black a little bit so oh, i chose this color right here to fade out the black let me do it on this side in front of you in order to understand better the procedure and now let's go to the most interesting, in my opinion, part, which is the blue. So here I have a very dark blue aqua color. It is called Nachtblau. Oh my god, why they don't put English names? I'm very, very bad at reading other languages. Anyway, maybe in English sometimes. So I'm gonna add some water and I'm gonna fill this whole area right here in order to start giving that space vibe. Oh my god, I'm so excited right now! So, first step, to take the Fix Potion from Carla Cosmetics, use it as a glitter glue and then take a lot of glitters from my glitter collection and create this or turn this into a galaxy, into a Milky Way. I'm so excited, really, like, I love working with glitters. Let me show you what I'm gonna use. From Gloss Gods, I'm planning to use Black Magic. It's a very nice duochrome from purple to red. It's amazing. And then again from Gloss Gods, just like Magic, it's a very nice green to yellow. I think this will fit perfectly with the whole space theme. And then I'm gonna use this. I don't know where is it from. Actually, it's a hollow glitter. These are more dust based. This has particles. That's why I'm not using it close to my eyes. It's dangerous. I'm planning basically to use it only here at the body part of today's transformation makeup. And also from NYX Professional Makeup, I'm gonna use these two. The first one is called Glee 11 and it's a very nice purple glitter. And this one right here, this is called M Glee 03. 
and this is a pink glitter so basically I'm gonna create a base with the dusty duochromes and eyeshadows and stuff like that and then on the top I'm gonna apply some extra glue and I'm gonna add the glitter particles I'm opening it and I'm so so excited because glitter is my favorite makeup product to work with I feel so happy and I'm looking for a mirror right now I feel so happy every time that I'm using it that I'm applying it on my makeups and I know that when I'm doing clothes there are not a lot of opportunities for me to use glitters to do stuff with glitters so I want to try to use as much as possible today because this is my chance this is my chance to have a very very good time so as you can see I'm starting with basically a line because I would like to create a line of green and then make it fade out into the other one, the purple. So that's what I have in my mind at least. So as you can see, I have finished with my green duochrome, the Just Like Magic from Gloss Coats, and I also added some of the black magic, a lot of magic here, here and there. If I do this movement, you might be able to see it. I can see it here at my mirror. You will see it at the pictures for sure. So if you want to make sure that you're going to see, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, where I'm going to upload a five picture gallery for this makeup look. My Instagram is catlidiandigon. You can find it down in the description box. And the next step that I did was to take my Epic Ink Eyeliner in white, Epic Wear, from NYX Professional Makeup. And then I designed where my constellation will be so basically these white dots that you see here are the big stars while these tiny ones are the smallest star why I did this because now I would like to add some glitter and basically the idea is to add the glitter outside of the constellation so right here and there and there but not where the lines will be okay because i want to keep it as clean and clear as possible so that's why i kind of sketched where everything is gonna be and now i'm ready to add some extra fixed potion the glitter glue that i have yes i don't destroy anything don't worry this one right here and then i'm gonna go with the two glitters from nyx and the holographic that i was telling you before Look how big difference the glitter is doing. But am I finished with the glitter? Maybe not. Maybe I will come back and add some extra later. But now I would like to add some extra shine with some stickers. Oops. So I have some stickers from Killstar, these two specifically. I have some other micro stickers like these. So the basic idea is when the constellation has the big stars, I'm planning to add those right here. These are some face gems. I think that they have their own glue, but if they need some extra help, I have a lot of lash glue to help them. And then for the tinier stars, I'm planning where they are. Yeah, I found it. I'm planning to add some of those. Can you see them? Is the camera focused enough for you to see them? Hope so. So yeah, the big will be big stars, big bright stars, and the other one might be a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna connect them with my Epic Ink Eyeliner in order to create the constellation. If you're wondering where did I find the constellation and everything, I just Google search. I don't know if I have the picture in front of me. No, I have not. But if you just Google Gemini constellation, you will find it. As you can see, we have finished with the whole design here, with the shadows, with the constellations, with everything. But I would like to enhance the impression that I'm doing a Gemini makeup here. So my idea was to create a tattoo here on my skin with the Gemini symbol. Basically, I'm gonna use the Epic Ink Eyeliner from NYX Professional Makeup and I'm gonna go freehand to design my zodiac symbol. The idea came because I was toying a lot with the idea of having a tattoo, a real tattoo, a makeup tattoo, a tattoo in general, and I find it a great opportunity actually to do it now because I feel that it matches the theme perfectly and let's see what's gonna happen. 
Did you notice that I removed my glasses? This pins only one thing. I'm ready to start with my eye makeup and basically I have already started using the eyeshadow base. This is the base that I'm always using but I think today actually it's gonna be the last time. If you're curious, it's from Urban Decay Primer Potion. Oh, oh my god, I don't even know if I can do today's makeup with this eyeshadow base or if I need some extra help. Anyway, while I'm applying my base, tell me, do you want to see a full series of Zodiacs? Do you want to just leave it as the Gemini and not do anything else in the future? Do you want to see a different style? So basically, I don't know who of you are following me on Instagram, but I have done a fruit series. So basically I was doing a different art style for every fruit. And if you say yes to this Zodiac series, do you want to see the same with all Zodiacs? Or each Zodiac should have another form of art? I would be very, very interested to hear your ideas, to hear your opinion. What do you think? Do you think that it's an interesting topic? Or I am interested. I'm a lot interested. Like, I love astronomy, not astrology, astronomy. And um, I don't know how to depict it because I think that if I do just, you know, a Milky Way, a solar system or something like that, it's kind of one dimensional makeup wise, always makeup wise. So I'm thinking the Zodiac is the best solution like to combine everything and make it a little bit more graphic, a little bit more, I don't know, vivid and live. <laughs> That's my opinion at least. The idea for today's eye look is to try to mimic this one right here, this pattern. So I'm gonna go again, um, not again, actually I didn't mention it, but I set it everything with an eyeshadow from Concrete Minerals, this one right here. It's called Bulletproof and it's an amazing blue. It's a very, very beautiful eyeshadow. To me, the only issue with these eyeshadows is that they are coming in a loose form. And I'm always so stressed that I might spill it and I don't want to feel this way. That's why I'm not using it that much. Um, other than that, I think that this is a great, great eyeshadow and you're gonna see it on my eye very, very soon. You will see how it performs. As I did with my little galaxy here, the next step is to take from Carla Cosmetics the Fix Potion, apply it here at the middle of my eyes and then on the top grab from Gloss Gots the green... Oh my god, where is it? Why am I so good at losing everything? Anyway, the green that I have here, it's a very very nice duochrome and I'm gonna just apply it on the top of the glue. Under my eyebrow, I'm gonna use the shadow bleach from my War Paint palette. Actually, today I hit another pan here at the bad decision. I think it's obvious why. And also, at the inner corner, I'm gonna take the holographic glitter from Gloss Gots in the name Hello Holo. This is absolutely safe for eyes, eye areas, so I trust it. And I'm gonna apply it here, so two different type of shine at my eyes. Next step, to apply some eye pencil in my waterline. For this purpose, I have chosen from NYX Professional Makeup the Series 4 Blacks and the shade Midnight or Nuit in uh, French, I think, right? Right. Anyway, I'm applying it here on my waterline and then I'm gonna take again the Bulletproof and this magic right here, just like magic, that, that's the name, from Gloss Gots and I'm gonna repeat the same procedure that I have done here to the bottom part of my eye. A lot of things have happened on my face, right? I'm gonna explain you everything while I'm applying these gems from Killstar. I think that they are not available anymore, they have been discontinued, but I find them so beautiful so I cannot resist and I will apply them. So first of all, I started with this primer from Essence, the Fix and Last, as always, these days. It's a very, very good primer. I don't know if I compare it with the marshmallow, which I'm gonna like the most. But anyway, after this, I continued with this foundation from Essence again, pretty natural. And after this, I applied again from Essence their concealer, which is called Camouflage Plus. Healthy Glow Concealer. Let me apply this. Oh my god. 
I think that I need to be super focused. <laughs> anyway, as a powder, I use the Brighten Up from Essence again. A lot of Essence on my face today, right? And then what did I do next? Yeah, I applied some blush. So this is Frat Boy from The Balm. It's a quite old blush, like when I was watching YouTube back in 2017, I would say. A lot of people were using it. So to me, it's kinda a staple <laughs> in this sense. Wow, what do you think about the face gems? Like, it's very beautiful, right? Then after, I applied some highlighter, which you cannot see right now because I just applied the gems on it. But this is from Rihanna's brand Fenty Beauty. Uh, how many carrots? This one that I love so much. You can see two pans, people, two pans in one highlighter. If this is not amazing, then what? Uh, did I forget anything? Uh, yeah, yeah. I applied also from Cosas their powder. I have shown you this powder a lot of times, so I'm not gonna do it right now because I still need to apply the other gem. Uh, what else? I think that this is it. No, 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 no. I applied this bronzer from Essence. It's called Matte Bronzing Powder. It's a very nice, almost cool tone bronzer. And this is so difficult for me to find cool tone stuff for my skin because I'm so cool toned and all the bronzers are looking so orange on me. And I hate this so much. But this is perfect and I love it so much. <laughs> anyway, let me apply this last gem so we can move on. And now it's time for the Greek word of the day. So today I'm doing my zodiac Gemini and for this reason I decided to tell you my zodiac in Greek. So in Greek we say Didymos. Say with me. Di, di, mos. Didymos. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below, including the word Didymos, or actually tell me your zodiac. What is your zodiac, people? <laughs> and as always, I'm gonna finish this makeup look by doing my lips. So for today, I decided to use a combo of three products, or more, we will see. First of all, I'm gonna go with this lip pencil from Zhao in the shade 555, this one right here. Then on the top, I'm gonna apply from NYX Professional Makeup Liquid Sweat in the shade... What's the name of it? Oh my god, Jet Set, that's the name of it. And then on the top of it, I'm gonna apply this powder, eyeshadow basically. This is again from Concrete Minerals, a lot of Concrete Minerals stuff today, right? It's called Spellbound and it's a multi-chrome eyeshadow, it's so beautiful, you will see it. I don't know if I'm gonna apply a gloss, we will find out together. <laughs> Well, I think that the lips without any gloss are looking way better because I would like to have like a very clear purple dochromatic and then a very clear blue and I think that I have it and that makes me so happy, right? Also, if you're wondering about this symbol, this is the symbol of Mercury. Mercury typically is the planet of my zodiac, the Gemini. I will search that. I don't have this knowledge, people. I'm sorry, but I found it very cool and I would like that this planet rules the Gemini constellation. I don't know, I don't know. Like, I'm not an astronomy expert. I don't wanna take the terms from astrology to explain all these things because I haven't really understood, to be honest. So yeah, I thought that it was cool. That's why I did it. I did it with Epic Ink Eyeliner from NYX Professional Makeup. And I don't think that I have to add anything extra, right? And that was it. That was our video for today. Thank you so, so much for being here with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. See you on Tuesday with a face makeup tutorial. And until then, bye bye.